Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. This video is about pinguecula's interigium. This video is a much more casual, but yet it's a very serious, important video. More casual, I don't have my tie on. Um, more serious, I'm going to stress the great importance of wearing sunglasses. So what happens is this. We have ultraviolet sun exposure that causes damage to the eye. The ultraviolet exposure can cause macular degeneration, can cause melanomas, it can cause eyelid cancers, but the most common of all are growths to the wall of the eye called pinguecula's interigium, which I'm going to explain. The importance of the topic today is it's preventable. Sunglasses. If somebody wears sunglasses outside during daylight hours with the correct protection, the things that I'm going to talk about are totally preventable. So here we have an eye, upper eyelid, lower eyelid, nice, white, clear eye. That's how we all want our eyes to appear. Nice, white, clear, healthy, and in good shape. And this person, of course, is a full-time sunglass wearer. Now, sometimes, though, we can develop a growth. That growth is called a pinguecula. It's not a cancer. It's not a malignancy. It's caused by the outdoor ultraviolet sun exposure. So at first, there's nothing here. The pinguecula gets a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, because this individual, unfortunately, was not a sunglass wearer. Now, with the continued non-use of sunglasses, what happens is the pinguecula's become larger and larger. This is almost like a triangular shape, elevated pinguecula. This is actually a different patient, but this is what happens without the sunglass protection. Now, it takes years of exposure for the pinguecula's to form. The problem is, once they're there, they can quickly start to grow over the cornea. So the cornea is the clear dome over the eye. You see a little bit of a beefy red. This is just barely growing over the cornea. It's called a pterygium. Same thing, but when it starts growing over the cornea, it's just a name change. These pterygium are absolutely, totally preventable. Again, they're not a cancer. They're not a malignancy. Now, of course, those become cosmetically objectionable, but worse yet, that is a small pterygium. With time, they can become larger, growing more over the cornea. So of course, they're even more noticeable cosmetically, but they start to obstruct vision. And as time goes on, some of them might be the same size, but they become even more noticeable because with the sun exposure, they'll become beefy red, and it becomes a very noticeable thing. So not only is it noticeable, but sometimes they become very uncomfortable and they start to interfere with vision. Again, this is from not wearing correct sunglasses. And lastly, at times there'll be patients who have them keep growing, they've never sought medical attention, or they decided to just not wear the sunglasses. And you can see this growth is starting to almost totally cover the pupil aperture. So the vision dropped precipitously. In fact, this individual became legally blind just because they didn't wear their sunglasses and the pterygium developed. So the key thing is, and going back to my sunglasses, if somebody has correct sunglass protection, the pinguaculas don't develop, pterygium don't develop. So if someone has them in the first place, pinguaculas will never develop. But let's say hypothetically, haven't worn sunglasses in the past, and the eye physician mentions, hey, you have pinguaculas. From that moment going forward with correct protection, the pinguaculas will not become pterygium. On the other hand, if there already are pterygium with correct protection with sunglasses, it'll stop them so that they won't become larger and larger having some horrible thing like that occur. So besides it being cosmetically objectionable and the decrease in vision, they get worse and worse and really obstruct vision tremendously. 
So sunglasses will totally prevent them. Now, why is the surgery such a big deal? 98, 99% of procedures done by ophthalmologists are done with a laser. The lasers are awesome. Laser procedures, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Lasers work terrific, they're safe, really, really awesome. Pterygium cannot be removed with a laser. Pterygium have to be removed the old fashioned way, basically taking a little bulldozer, digging holes in the wall of the eye and digging them out. It is major surgery. So let's say hypothetically someone has pterygium surgery. One eye of course is done first. After that first eye for the next week to 10 days, they cannot work, they cannot drive, they cannot be outdoors. But it's not a fun week to 10 days off because the eye actually feels pretty miserable. The eye recuperates. After the eye recuperates, we do the second eye. Same ordeal all over again. A week to 10 days, no working, no driving, etc., etc. Once all that is done, unfortunately, even when the surgery is done beautifully, 20% of pterygium will recur. If they recur, they tend to come back with a vengeance and come back even worse, necessitating two more major surgical procedures. Again, totally preventable. So how do we prevent pink oculus and pterygium? Sunglasses, they need to have UV 400 blocker, polarization, front and back protection. The sunglasses, of course, need to be worn. If they're sitting up here, doesn't count. If they're sitting in the glove compartment, doesn't count. If someone conscientiously wears them, pink oculus and pterygium just should never develop it. It's a very significant way to prevent major surgery. Last comment, unfortunately, shamefully, about 90% of sunglasses sold in the United States have either zero or negligible protection. So even when someone's being conscientious, in essence, they are outside naked. They do not have the protection against the eyelid cancers, the pinguaculus, the pterygium, the drusen, the macular degeneration, the ocular melanomas. So it is really, really important not just worrying about the style and the looks of the frame, but to make sure the lenses appropriately will protect. Thank you very much.